there's two parts in the, the, for me and my instinct on that answer is I've never met anybody as personable and as, as like lovable and affectionate and caring, thoughtful and kind as George, uh, with a huge imagination and ability to, to realize it. And the second part of that was he created something um, in his imagination and has obviously had this world within him for 30 plus years, 37 years ago he started it, um, maybe before he was thinking about it. And he had, the, he had the thankless task of trying to explain it, you know, what he wanted to achieve to, you know, to, you know for me, you know, if I speak for myself, who's a, a complete bone idiot, stood there in the desert trying to work out what he wanted me to do because my world is very small. I just do follow the logical A, B, C, D of acting and creating a character. Uh, in this one, we had to harmoniously create a hybrid between Jacob and I but who, because Max was going to be articulated in a very physical manner amongst a, a, a group of characters which were made up of machinery as well and we were part of a, a, a multifaceted storyline from his imagination so the other part of that is trying to understand exactly what George wants when his head is full full of amazing ideas and he's trying to explain what he wants exactly and that, that's quite, um, not frustrating, but difficult. Actually, it's quite the opposite, you know, because the, um, George's mythology underneath Mad Max underpins very seriously the world of Seneca and Plautus and Terence, you know, and Dionysus and Greek theatre and Shakespearean theatre. So a lot of the conversations around, um, around the understanding of Mad Max character for me was discussions which are genuinely I normally find within theatre. So actually, he wouldn't have thought it, and it's an action movie, yes, on a, on a certain level, but it's underpinned with a huge amount of um, due diligence, and a lot of that to do with mythology. Well, it's, it's the character, so, so you work closely with the action unit director, Guy Norris, and, and the fight choreographers, Greg and Richard, and, and you work in, in collab to make, uh, to make the character um, and the arc of the story come to life. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Tom's very physical. He can, he can do the majority of the stunts himself, so he's, he's capable of doing everything. He could have been a great stuntman himself. Uh, um, no, no, no. But he, to be fair, like, Jacob's being asked, and he's been humble, as a lot of stuntmen are, and that's their kind of credo, but to be fair, this is a huge um, stunt movie, and it's a huge action movie, and everything is live action. And what's, being, what's going on, and I think it's a testament also to the stunt department and the drivers and everybody that was involved in that athletic side. Um, of, of which Jacob is representing today, that it w there could be no Mad Max or no Furiosa or none of the a articulated action characters within this if it wasn't for a complete harmonious synchronicity between the departments of acting and the stunt department. And technically they were unbelievable. So, um, you know, you, there's no CGI in this film, so they have, these guys put themselves on the line a lot. I've got loads of dogs, and I do find dogs. You know, I had some disturbing news though about pets in the Norfolk. Uh, sort of, you know, I'm a little bit concerned about that. But um, I think ultimately, um, uh, you know, the, the concept of adopting dogs for me is something that's very close to home, and something that I'm interested. In, and obviously, it's very important. I also, you know, I'm very, very fond of pit bulls, and I've had some concern about that. Um, subsequently um, from getting involved but I'm always happy to help out um, any any lesser known shelter or greater care of uh, any any wildlife or animals because I care about them a lot um, so that's what the pet is about um, <clears throat> but I think I need to do a little bit more research into that world as well to be fair because certain things pop up and you find out things and you, you might have to sort of move around to where you know, the best uh, care is given and, uh, and anything that provides the best care possible for, for animals and wildlife I want to be involved in.